The shield must be deactivated if any attack is to be attempted. Tell me how the grass tastes, little man. <laughs> A D&D rules update is fast approaching. With the game designers having a second shot at the entire thing, I have to know, is the shield spell going to change? In case you're new to D&D or haven't played a spellcaster, let me explain. Shield is a first level spell intended for wizards or sorcerers. The spell lets you block attacks with a magical barrier. You can cast it on demand, and it sticks around until the start of your next turn. Mechanically, it grants a plus five bonus to your armor class, making you very hard to hit. Attacks will likely miss you, and you'll be a far less tempting target. Unlike other defensive spells, shield doesn't care how many times you're attacked. In fact, the more that you're attacked, the more mileage you're getting out of that spell. For similar spells like Cure Wounds or Shield of Faith, it's the opposite. Lantern, focus. You stop concentrating and that shield breaks apart. Shut up. So, shield is so good, they may need to change it. Why is that? The spell is very reliable because you get the same effect every time. It's also very cheap being a first level spell. And as you gain levels, it only gets cheaper. Plenty of other spells are powerful or efficient or cheap, but shield is all of those things at any level. So, are they going to change it? And what would that look like? They could make it only work on one attack. They could lower the plus five armor class to plus two, making it less effective. They could remove it. They could do nothing or they could have it grant temporary hit points. For those who don't know, temporary hit points act as a buffer, absorbing damage before it reduces your actual hit points. Similar to the Overshield from the Halo franchise. By replacing a bonus to armor class with temporary hit points, we solve a few problems. You're still negating damage on demand, but that initial attack is now chewing through temporary hit points instead of simply being blocked. Because the enemies know they can get through those temporary hit points, they will still be incentivized to attack you and not your allies, allowing you to draw their fire. This also means shield will be less useful at higher levels. When enemies are doing 30, 40, 50 damage a hit, a few temporary hit points aren't as effective. However, by sacrificing higher level spell slots, you could gain more temporary hit points. For example, if we have a first level shield spell grant 10 temporary hit points, we could have a third level grant 30. This also makes shield more expensive. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Here's an example that highlights the differences. A pit fiend is attacking a wizard. They cast if the wizard is using 2014 rules, they get a plus five bonus to their armor class until the start of their next turn by using a reaction and a first level spell slot. With my rules, the wizard has to think about it. How much damage is his big red friend gonna do here? The wizard prefers all of his bones to be not broken, so he casts shield at fifth level. So for the price of a fifth level spell slot and a reaction, the wizard now has 50 temporary hit points until the start of his next turn. So now, the Pit Fiend attacks. 2014 Wizard simply waits for the Pit Fiend to miss. The Wizard using my version of the Shield spell is very happy they chose to upcast it because the Pit Fiend is chewing through their temporary hit points. Think about it from a cinematic point of view. The Pit Fiend is hammering away at this barrier. With every heavy impact, cracks are forming in the Shield. It's the Pit Fiend's last attack, and the temporary hit points are running out. The Pit Fiend hits for a fourth time. You see what I'm getting at. While not perfect, I think it's an interesting idea. At the time I'm recording this, the Cantrips UA is just wrapping up. I don't know if we'll see Shield in the playtest, but likely we will see a slightly different version at least in the 2024 rules. That's my prediction anyway. But what do you think? Should the game designers take advantage of the rules update to change the spell? If you have an opinion to share or a possible solution, let me know in the comments below. I hope you learned something, were entertained, or ideally both. Subscribe if you liked the video. Goodbye.